commencing echo playback. But first some context. I'm trying to do solo evacuation, decaying winter's true ending. How do you do that? First you have to pick up the knife from the crash dropship, which will then open a secret hatch and castle. In that secret hatch there's a key card that opens other and secret door that leads to the lab. In the lab you need to go to one side to unlock the door from a laptop, to then go to the other side and pick up gas masks. Once you have done that survive wave 10 and evacuation will begin. However there's a problem. The castle is heavily guarded with raiders and sledge queen. The raiders are not a problem, because if you kill the queen the raiders will no longer be in castle. Right, it's free to what, loot, and you can alert sledge queen by going behind castle. Trying to kill sledge queen is a whole other story. Why? When you damage sledge queen all of her raiders get instantly alerted to your location. What if you run away? Sledge queen has arbiters perk, meaning if you try to run away you will get blasted in the back. What if you tried to shoot from a distance? She lifts up her hammer and blocks her head, meaning you can no longer get headshot damage. What if you aim for the body? She has around 1,300 health. An ACAM with a mag of 30 to the body would not even do half of her health. What if you get up close to drop her guard? She will do one of three moves. She will stun you and then Arbiter blasts you until your head explodes. Do a three light attack combo. The third attack cannot be parried and you will be dead yet again. Dead body Her final move is slamming a tree so hard she gets sent to the moon, and then falling back down and ground slamming you, killing you instantly. So how the hell are you supposed to win? Oh, that was easy. There are still two other bosses. Yosef, a gay Russian man who loves KFC. Chicken. He will spawn in at wave 10 charging at you and then giving you every debuff possible. Scythe Cultist. Apparently he can shadow fade at 50 health and regain all of their health back. Never seen this happen once. However, both of them are pushovers for Yosef. Because of the small amount of damage he does, the green stim makes you pretty much invincible. For the Scythe Cultist, you can throw dynamite and use Arbiter's perk to kill him before you even see him. But there is still one more challenge. Evacuation makes you fight the raiders for around 6 minutes after burning through all of your ammo on wave 10. The chances of winning are next to impossible, a chance I am willing to take.